and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another auction preview video I'm here at Bista Heritage many of you will recognize this place and I have a whole full of amazing cars an eclectic collection up for auction this weekend and there's some things as always that I'm gonna probably have my bidding finger on this weekend as well so let's take a little look around and see what there is in store so we have 160, 170 odd cars in this lot. And as always, I'm not going to cover everything, but there is a full video with Vicky Butler Henderson and Matthew Pretty going through our favorite lots as well over on the Historics YouTube channel. Where to start then? Where to start? I'm going to pick out my favorites. I actually arrived on the Historics video in this. This is a Manx buggy evocation. I arrived in that. If you want to go and see more of that, that's actually being offered with no reserve. And these things are getting super, super popular. It's even got Fuchs wheels. Anyway, I'm going to pick up my favorite stuff. Don't shout at me if I don't cover the things that you absolutely love. Make sure you go and visit the online auction catalog. This is actually chaos. I wasn't going to pick this out. 105 Rally. That is mayhem. As always with these videos, if you missed them before, the lot number is in the top right hand corner of the windscreen. So you can easily go and find the lot on the Historic Auctions website. That is mayhem. There's so much cool stuff. This actually, I'm getting distracted. It's got three seats in the front. This is actually a Baguera. And this is a car that Vicky Butler Henderson's dad actually is an expert in. He's actually put multiple of these things back together and restored them. So she is an oracle on all these things. I must admit, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these before. I've never even heard of one, but she gave me a bit of a lecture about them. So there we go, I've learned something. But that is lot number 180. I'm getting distracted straight away. We've got a 996 Turbo S here. That is lot number 152. It is a manual Turbo S in GT Silver. That is a lovely, lovely car manual turbo s there are not many of those about right hand drive as well carbon interior wallop a 964 targa there we've got a 996 c4s here lot number 224 that is a seal gray car manual as well black leather interior lovely stuff oh and mr lenny urban would be having i was gonna say a wet dream not sure i'm allowed to say that lot number 195 is an escort cosworth with probably the most iconic rear wing of all time. That's probably one of the most iconic car parts of all time, that whale tail wing. What a legend this car is. And it's actually in standard format, which you rarely, rarely see. You've got pretty much unmarked original wheels on there. Completely standard by the looks of it. By the looks of it, got standard Recaro seats in there still. What an iconic car. It's not going to go cheap, but for the collectors out there, it doesn't really get much better for fast forwards. Wow. As usual, some unicorn stuff then. This Maserati is here. And I must admit, I wasn't the biggest expert on these. This is Maserati Carif. Carif? No idea. No idea how you pronounce that. It's probably the first one I've ever seen in the metal. Right hand drive, bit of walnut on the wheel there, or it looks like walnut. Split rims, that is super cool. That is lot number two, three, one. Awesome. What I like is the fact that there's always such an eclectic mix. This is a G63 a color edition, I believe. This was one of a few limited cars they brought out in a range of different colors. This is the white variant, of course, but it's actually got different colored arches and bumpers on it. Polar white, right-hand drive, G63. Timeless, timeless car. That is super, super cool. Very nice. 456 here in what looks like TDF blue, but it might not be. Again, very cool. Four-seater, naturally aspirated V12. And it is a manual, this one. Kremer interior. 456 manual. They don't come up very often. That is lot number 154. And in the same vein then, moving around, we have a 612 Sagletti. Left-hand drive, perfect for European cruises. They are actually setting the place up, so I'm just getting in the way, basically. Perfect for European cruising. Two seats in the front, two seats in the back, loads of room in a very, very tasteful colorway. Silver over what looks like Koyo inside. Very nice. Silver brake calipers as well. Very tasteful indeed. 27,000 miles on that. That is a perfect cruise. And the estimate on that, I think, is around 60K. Hell of a lot of car, and that is looking absolutely stunning. The joy of Pininfarina design. They just get better with age. Now, 
a car out of the blue that's fairly obscure, but a phantom coupe. These are hen's teeth. And I want to know what you think about me bidding on one of these and adding to the garage. I've had my eye on one of these for many, many years. I love a Phantom Coupe. I just think they are so, so cool. It's the precursor to the Wraith, really, before they made the Wraith all small and loads of footballers bought them. I think the Phantom Coupe is unbelievable. Look at the size of it. It's only got two doors. I would actually love this for my garage. I really genuinely want to know what you think about me buying a Phantom Coupe and straight piping it. No, I'm joking, maybe I'm not. Let me know what you think anyway. Should I buy one? This is obviously a lovely, lovely South of France type blue with cream interior. I would love that. I'd be tempted to put white wall tires on that. I would almost definitely do that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. We have a Bentley Azure as well next to it, which is kind of almost the same idea, obviously with the drop top. Probably a little bit too old for me. I know you can retrofit CarPlay into the Phantom Coupe, so. That's what's goading me into that. We have an AMG GTR here. We actually filmed a full video. Myself, Vicky Butler Henderson, and Matthew Pretty filmed a full video with that and a Lamborghini Huracan, which you'll see over in the corner. But that is already on the Historics YouTube channel. Very nice car, right hand drive. Can't really argue with an AMG GTR. You can daily these, you can literally drive them like a golf. They are so, so usable. Also, here we have a 430 Scooter Rear, and I have done an ASMR reel on my Instagram with this particular car. So if you want all the fine sound of 430 Scuderia, including some you've probably never heard before and you didn't know existed, that is on my Instagram now. But that is lot number 166. It's left-hand drive as well, so perfect for Euro Hoons. And I actually think, long-term value-wise, arguably, lefties are slightly better, potentially. Argue with me in the comments. Also here, lot number 196, and something I've covered on the Historics YouTube channel, is this Resto Mod 911. It started life as a 3-litre SC Targa. It's been bored out to 3.2-litre and been subject to an amazing Resto Mod yeah, conversion. Everything's been done, and the estimate on this is around £120,000. You've even got central fuel filler cap, akin to that bunch that do the reimagined cars. Wink, wink. In the midst of some filming here. Very busy and important. We've got another two-door coupe, drop head, Bentley. There's loads of two-door coupe, Bentleys and Rolls Royces in this auction. Very good news. Uh, speaking of good news, we've got a 930 Turbo here. This is a 1985 car. It's only covered 71,000 miles and it actually got a full engine rebuild at 70,000 miles. It's a C16 UK supplied car, right-hand drive, black 930 turbo. What else is there to say other than these are ruddy brilliant. My favorite part about the 930s, those rear arches, look at them. Lovely, lovely stuff. Only second to the whale tail on the back. Great investment potential, great car, a lot of fun, an icon, and it really is the 80s people's supercar. So, so good. That is lot number 178. That is up for auction this weekend along with everything else. I am whizzing through everything here. There is so, so much cool stuff. I'd be here all week if I went around everything, but I do want to show you something that I picked up on over here. Hiding in the doorway over here is a Carrera GT. Not the Carrera GT that you will all know, but effectively the 924 variant of the Carrera GT, the original Carrera GT. So, a lot of people don't realize Porsche actually already released a car called the Carrera GT, which is a bit strange they released another one with the V10 in it. But there we go. This variant here, super rare car, and I actually really, really love these. Got these massive sort of almost bolt-on wide arches, manual gearbox, and it's a right-hand drive. It says do not start on it, so I assume there is some work that is needed on this car, but it is lot number 135. These are super, super rare, and they're actually fetching a lot of money now at auction. I remember Tom Hartley sold a really kind of pristine one of these recently for easily well into six figures. So that may well be a bargain for someone that knows what they're doing and wants a bit of a project. That is very, very cool though. Guards red, black wheels. Look at the bonnet scoop as well. Original decals as well, that's what it came with. And then you also get obviously an added wing on the back there as well. Nearly time to end things. We've got a Carrera 4 here as well. Couple of SLs of varying 
ages, in fact three SLs of different generations. And this Hurricane, which I mentioned earlier, I filmed a full video with this, that is going to be a hell of a lot of car for the money, I suspect. That will go for a very, very good price. It's a lot of car for the cash. You still can't beat Hurricane, they've aged so well. Also here, another super, super rare icon, we've got a Tommy Mackinnon edition Evo. That's a right-hand drive car as well. And seemingly fairly standard. Not many of those around at all. That is incredible. It's mega. Look at this, poking out the side. Love it. These are nuts. All the money in the world, I definitely have one of these in the collection. There he is, up on the big screen. So this is where all the action is going to happen, the auction. How it works then, if you're not familiar, there are preview days ahead of the auctions where you can come down, see the cars, go through all the paperwork, which is over in that little booth there. It's basically a library. All the paperwork for all the cars and everything you'd ever want to know is here on site as well. And you can come around, have a poke around in the metal, bring whoever you want. You do need to register before you bid. And if you come down to the preview days to take a look at any of these cars, there is free tea and coffee. Matthew mentioned that earlier and I'm holding him to it. So you can come down, have a little poke around here at Bista Heritage. It's an amazing site anyway, and those are preview days ahead of the auction. I'll leave all the dates and the times to come down ahead of the auction and the auction timings itself below. And of course, make sure you register to bid because one time I tried to bid on an Alpha and I hadn't registered beforehand and I missed the bidding because I was faffing around. I left it to the last second, so make sure you do that in advance. So go and sign up now, it just makes the whole thing a lot quicker. For now then, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I do want to hear what you think I should be bidding on out of those cars that I've showed you, particularly the Rolls Royce. I really want to know your thoughts on that. And don't hold back, be completely honest. Sometimes I do need reining in, so do tell me what you think of that, honestly. For now, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave all the links below to go and get in the mix. And as always, keep me posted with what you bid on, what you win, and if you come to a car meet and something you've got from here, as always, let me know, because I love finding out what you guys and girls have won at auction. For now, ciao.